approach this matter from a feminist angle? I don't think there's anything such as, as true love. There, there is no love that is not heavily influenced by physical desires, by material desires, by psychological desires, by desires perhaps to rise in social status, uh, by desires to look good in the eyes of your family, friends, and community. So I don't think there's any such thing as pure love, true love. And I, I don't think that uh, what's going on between passport bros and, and women in foreign countries is really that much different than what goes on in Los Angeles or New York or Jerusalem or anywhere else in the world. Uh, when you get married, it's very akin to going into business together. And usually the more pragmatic people are about marriage, the more successful. And those who spend the most time dreaming of, of true love have the most difficulty with marriage. So I think a highly pragmatic approach where you take social considerations into account, where you take status considerations into account, where you take material and physical and financial conditions into account, I think that's the only way to pursue relationships. I think it's the only way that relationships are pursued and people who think that they're pursuing true love, I think are living in a world of delusion. Now, is there something beyond uh, the purely physical and material and social and psychological and status, uh, sure. But I, I don't think romantic love is a strong basis for marriage. I think it's usually a, a terrible primary basis for marriage, right? The more you have in common, usually the better off you're going to be. And these passport bros and women in foreign lands may have a great deal in common. They may have a search for adventure. They may have a certain flexibility. Uh, a lot of people are looking for a partnership in marriage where they are united by a desire for adventure or for personal growth or for excitement or for pushing each other to achieve new things. And other people are looking to create a legacy where they want to get married and, and build a family, build a business, build a position in the community. Uh, there's no inherent reason why people who are seeking to marry for, for legacy's sake are superior or inferior to people who are marrying for uh, personal growth or for a certain type of uh, excitement or adventure. There, there, other people are seeking to marry mainly for reasons of companionship. I, I don't think any one type of uh, form of marriage is superior, except for those who primarily seek romantic love in marriage. I think that is destined to be disappointed. It, it's a lovely, I, I would assume it's a lovely additive. And I, it, it uh, probably provides the rocket fuel for many relationships to take off. But I would hope, hope that the primary basis for, for marriage is social, is physical, is material, is uh, sharing uh, values in common, say a religion or a, a political cultural outlook on life and, and a desire to uh, bond together, to, to work together, essentially forming a, a, a business forming a, a partnership where you look out for the other person. So I, I don't see true love as an ideal.